In the morning, we're flying to Argentina. So I made another edit of a big Latin tune. Well, I hope it's a big Latin tune. I've got a feeling that South Americans like, like, house music. James Hyde. Yo, we're going to Argentina. I've wanted to go to Argentina for so long. And as soon as the show got announced, it sold out in less than a day. So this is gonna be really exciting. So I haven't spent much time in South America before. I don't really know much about it, but I'm pretty sure they speak Spanish in Argentina. So I was sat on a long flight and I downloaded a load of Latin vocals, like popular songs. And I was like, let me make some stuff to put in my set for Argentina that people will recognize that still feels like James Hype. I'm gonna play you a little clip of something that I made on the plane because this is crazy. <laughs> Automation as well. That's supposed to stop it. Okay, anyway, we're in Dallas, Texas right now and we've got a show tonight, which also sold out really fast, which is really exciting. But yeah, um, let's get on with it. No Sleep Gang is officially back. It's gonna be a crazy episode. Who does this? This is the poster. February 12th, first time, Buenos Aires, Argentina. It's gonna be so much fun. Right now we are in Dallas, Texas just flew in i'm pretty tired but i'm like waking myself up in the gym i need to eat and then we're going to the show tonight which is at a place called stereo live i've played there before but um this time it's sold out so it's gonna be crazy and as well champagne kenny is supporting me tonight so he's gonna be on before me when i get there which is gonna be fun uh, i said to you a minute ago no sleep gang is back basically after the show tonight we have a 7 a.m wake up to go to St. Louis to play this crazy Mardi Gras show. And then from there, we fly to Miami and then we fly to Buenos Aires. So yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hectic episode. Let's do this. Let's go to the show. Debrief. Nice rush, that was really good. We're in sync. All right, I give it, I give it a nine. The only thing that could have been better is the stage is too fucking high. And I realized that when I jumped off it at the end and it's about 10 feet high. Rush? Uh, I'll give it a 9.5. Ooh. I really enjoyed it. Um, negative, stop putting the lights on all my That's it. Sick. Uh, it's not often that Rush gives it a higher rating than me. That's crazy. Um, so we're just going back to our hotel and Rush has a flight in like three hours to um, St. Louis. We, me and Wallace have a flight in five hours to St. Louis. So we're uh, no sleep gang, no sleep gang. Um, Got to get some more shit ready. Bit of big shows ahead. Let's go. I'm feeling the beat to my song fabric. Feeling the beat to my song fabric. Welcome to 
St. Louis, apparently you do pronounce the S. We actually Googled it before we started the video and um, Google said it was Louis, but it's Louis. Um, look at this. We're right next to the stadium of the, hang on, the Cardinals. <laughs> I knew that, I didn't just read it off the sign down there. But yeah, we're in the middle of the city and it's crazy because they've like shut down the whole city for Mardi Gras. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what Mardi Gras is. It just sounds cool. Um, but everyone's like getting involved. There's people in like crazy costumes walking down the street. Let me show you this, right? I saw this guy walking past out the window. That is terrifying. <laughs> if I saw him in London, I'd run away. But yeah, that's Mardi Gras. So um, they shut down the streets and we have to get a golf cart to the, I want to say club. It's not a club. It's like a big outdoor kind of marquee thing. Um, Rashan's been down there already. It looks really cool. Anyway, we are going to Argentina literally tomorrow. So I've been working on these Latin edits, like I said. Now, please, I don't know anything about Latin music, but I know that Bad Bunny and Daddy Yankee are pretty fucking big, right? So when I was looking for these acapellas, I was like looking for the big names. And then I was looking, what kind of records have they got? Like I found this one, La Santa. And I searched on Spotify, like, how many streams it's got. It's like, oh, shit, this is a big one. It's got, like, a billion streams. So I'm like, can we make this into a house tune? The answer is, yes, we fucking can. This is what I've done so far. more groovy but um i've got a feeling that south americans like like house music house music so i'm going for the groovy vibe i hope i'm right um i was just imagining the subtitles coming across the bottom of the video when that was playing like singing in spanish uh, yeah so i've got i've got a couple more bits that i'm working on and i'll show you a little bit later in the episode but right now i've got to get my music ready for the set today don't know what the vibe is. I feel like Mardi Gras is just a big party, so we're just gonna play like fun tunes, I think. Um, just give them a good time. So yeah, let's fucking do this. You ready, Wallace? I'm ready, bro. He's ready. He transition. Oh, hang on. Transition back, come back. I just wanna show you, uh, No Sleep Gang is back, guys. That is my official statistics from last night. Two hours and 30 of sleep. Let's do this. <laughs> Cold. This is the same climate as London, bro. It's February. Woo! Ah! Oh! <laughs> this is the third largest Mardi Gras in the world, with Brazil being the first largest. There's about 200,000 plus people in a mile area. That's wild. This whole thing is fucking crazy. I just still don't understand what Mardi Gras is, but it's fucking crazy. I give it an eight. The lighting was really letting it down. 
that could have been improved. Yeah. Right, uh, I've got to give it a seven. The VJ was, um, thought he was, don't know what he thought he was doing. It was like doing 350 miles per hour over the visuals. And um, yeah, I, thought it was too, I thought the stage was too high, me personally, but yeah. Bro, I love Mardi Gras. I love it. I think I'm, I'm gonna start celebrating it. It's 7 p.m. The show finished at five. We just had an amazing dinner. There's, there's a table over there sending us shots and champagne, which I poured into a Coke glass so I don't have to drink. Because I'm way too tired to be drinking alcohol right now. And um, yeah, it's only 7 p.m. What a fucking day. Um, we're gonna go to bed soon because no sleep gang. And in the morning, we're flying to Argentina via Miami. It's exciting. It's really exciting. New places. Let's go moving differently. Who does this? Aires, Argentina. I slept through the whole flight and then got here and slept some more. And now it's like five in the afternoon. It's a bit later than that, actually. I think it's about six. Um, I did not know what to expect from Argentina as I've never been here before. And it's so weird. I feel like I'm in Europe. I wasn't expecting that, but. So we just want to get some food. The guys are going to go to a sound check now. The venue looks really cool. I'll show you some pictures in a second. We'll cut back in on that. It's a bit windy. So we just want to get some food now and uh, the guys are about to go and do sound check. We found some photos of the club. I don't know if you can see. They're pretty small, but like, it looks like it's going to be good fun. As I say, the show sold out in a day. So whatever happens, you know, it's going to be some mad, mad hype fun. So yeah, are you going to take the camera to the sound check? What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, sick. See you in a bit. Okay, man. You make it for you. <laughs> I had Welcome to the jungle. Ah, oh, did you not see it? <laughs> oh, no, for that. This is nice. <laughs> well, I don't know what I don't know what's going on here. This was not a sound check. Uh, but we've just done a sound check. Do um, you know what? To be fair, after the stresses I've had today. Um, I didn't get confirmation for tech or if they've got the visuals or anything till 12.30 this afternoon um, after asking for four weeks. But it's all good, it's all good. Everything's well, sound system's busting, the decks are great. I've had, the only problem I had, I had to change out one deck because uh, one of the Q buttons aren't working, but apart from that, all great. Still confused what this is. But we're outside Argentina. Check this out. I've got a system for making coffee on tour. So I bought these. I discovered these things in Asia and they had like pre-packed coffee bags. And I was like, let me buy some of these. But for some reason at home in London, you can only buy them with nothing in. So you put this in the wine glass because the cup's too small. And then I bought some coffee, some ground coffee. Can you fast forward this? And then we have pour over coffee in a hotel room because I hate Nespresso. And I hate instant coffee even more. So I'm gonna talk you through what I've got planned for the set tonight. Basically, I've been doing some research on which artists are from Argentina and from Buenos Aires because I, I want to kind of pay tribute to the city when I'm here. You have to fast forward this, I don't want to fuck up the coffee. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> 
So I made another edit of a big Latin tune. Well, I hope it's a big Latin tune. <laughs> Proper tech house vibes, this one. So that's another one I'm going to drop tonight. So after I've started my intro tonight, I've got this a cappella um, by a guy called Neo Pistia. I hope I'm saying that right. And he's um, one of the biggest Argentinian artists. And I thought this tune was absolutely fire, so I found the a cappella YouTube downloader. <laughs> and if you play that over this, it dies. It's just fucking crazy, bro. You ready? <laughs> So I'm just throwing in these little pieces of Argentina and I hope the people actually like it, you know, because I don't know anything about this stuff, but yeah, fingers crossed. I'm really excited for the gig. As I've said this many a time in this episode, but it's sold out really, really quick. And that's such an honor because I've never been to this country before. And honestly, I never even thought I would ever come to this country. So to come here and have a sold out show and just meet the people who love the music. It's gonna be fucking fun. Let's do this. We've got a few hours till the gig. Stay awake. Let's go. All right, this is the green room, the artist room. Ben's with us today. Yo. Sean's with us, obviously, and Wallace. The guys are wearing these headsets so they can all communicate with one another to make sure they get the best shots and to make sure everyone knows like what records I'm playing. To make sure that Rashan can make sure that everyone's okay when they're out and about. And yeah, I'm really excited, I really am. I was tired before and now we got here and I'm like, let's fucking do this. Last time in Argentina, Rash said it's really, really busy, but I haven't actually seen the club yet. I've just seen this room. So yeah, let's do it. This fucking crazy. This place is mad, bro. Come on.
Right, before we get to debriefing the show, I just want to show you something that I found at this hotel breakfast. It's my first time in Argentina, so please excuse my ignorance, but what the fuck is this brown thing? Don't taste bad though. It's next to the cheese and the butter. It's brown. Answers below. Anyway, debrief the show was a 10. It was mm -hmm. an absolute 10. Um, mm -hmm. Don't even know what to say. I love the club. Love playing to the Argentinian people. And no complaints, Roshan. The show was a 10. The show was a 10. The only complaint has nothing to do with the actual show itself. It's just being more organized. That's all I'll say. Not leaving things the last minute. But you guys were amazing though. Ben. Yeah, 10 for me as well. Nothing I'd really change. Uh, maybe less swaying in the crowd, but apart from that, it was sick. <laughs> Watch your dance moves around yeah. Ben, please. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Wallace? Um, it's a 10. The only thing I would have changed is I'd like the booth a bit louder for me. I. Oh, bro, I could have I could have made it louder. Oh. Really? <laughs> James, next time make it louder. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's the only thing I had. And it was quite hot. Just <laughs> because he says that. So that brings us to the end of a really sick episode of Moving Differently. Right now, I have got two brand new singles that have just dropped with Tita Lau. Vibrate and On The Ground. Go and buy them on Beatport if you're a real hype fan. And stream them on Spotify, add them to your playlist. All of that. They're proper bangers as well, like, keep me on the ground. Keep me on the ground. Thanks. That wasn't the bit, but yeah. <laughs> nice one, Ben. All right, transition. Keep me on the ground. Keep me on the ground.